You know, before I jet off to California, I wanted to sit down and just settle some of my opinions before things go all Pete Tong. As some of you know, I've gotten into loving No Man's Sky a ton. Some of you are sick of hearing it, so this is not a No Man's Sky video. But it is going to lament a little bit because I think life changes after I fly out to California. Quite substantially. Um, so prior to my trip to California, uh, my current headset, definitely my daily driver, has been PSVR 2. I mean, I've really, really appreciated what this system has offered. Uh, certainly between RE8, Gran Turismo 7, and No Man's Sky, there's just nothing like it. Um, just the brightness in the headset, the OLED panel, the way darks look, just the way I feel there with that headset. It's big, it's relatively clunky, but you know what? It's comfortable for a very long time. And the controllers, you charge them for like 20 minutes after three hours and bam, you're good to go for another three. So it's been a great headset. And then in contrast, if I go spin the wheel back a couple of years ago, well, we got this little fella, uh, the Oculus Quest 2. And I'm very purposefully saying Oculus because I still believe that Meta haven't made anything uh, good ever since the name change. Um, I don't know. I've not really had a long amount of time with the Meta Quest Pro. Um, they've been continuing to tear down the Oculus brand from wherever they can. Oculus.com slash casting is still up there. So, yay, that's still going. And I'm still using that whenever I stream with Quest. Um, but in terms of what's around the corner, we've obviously got Quest 3 coming. There's a bunch of other headsets that are out there kind of buzzing around, trying to take some attention. You've got big screen for people who can stand base stations. That's not me. Um, you've got the visor for people who really want to kind of get on with some work and just have multiple panels. Maybe me, I don't know yet. Uh, you've obviously got those AR glasses, several different manufacturers who have them. Uh, but at the moment, I'm struggling to think about how I'm going to address my two use cases. Number one is I want to sit down and have some great time gaming and disappear into another world and just love it. Enjoy the thing like crazy, like crazy. Um, for the last nine years, I've been putting an inordinate amount of my discretionary time into this uh, because it isn't my day job and because it isn't something that I'm getting paid to do. It has very much been around passion and that's all it's ever been for me. It's just been this amazing new vehicle um, and I can't keep myself away from it. There's been times when I've doubted my ability to play, you know, flat games anymore. And then I kind of bounced back from that, went back and I was like, okay, I'll allow myself some flat games. And now I feel like I've got a healthy balance between the two. Uh, but even that said, more often than not, when I put the activation energy into actually picking up a headset and going in, I have a much better time there than I do playing a flat game, generally speaking. Um, and the same thing is true actually for cinema, for movies and stuff. So if I go ahead and um, lock myself into a headset and watch a film in, in that space, um, I, I generally find myself paying better attention to it, uh, getting really gripped into the story or the characters. I'm not distracted by a phone or something like that. Um, so it's still my go-to, uh, but I'm missing something still. And I didn't think that nine years later, I'd still be missing this. I don't have a headset to replace a monitor and actually work with. I just don't have that headset. It doesn't exist for me yet. Uh, I don't necessarily trust the ecosystem with sensitive stuff that I'd be viewing for work. Um, and also, I just don't think that the comfort and clarity and a number of different factors are just there yet to really do like a, you know, a 10 to 13 hour day. So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting kind of impatiently for the work headset to come along or AR glasses or whatever that ends up being, because it could be an augmented experience, I think, uh, provided you can show some windows and that type of stuff in a kind of a pop up display. Might even be better for multitasking purposes. For a gaming device, um, you know, Quest, first the Rift S, I'd say, was kind of the ones that reached the right level of visuals and ease of setup that I felt really nailed it. I mean, Quest 1 was, was almost there. It was very good headset, but it was a little bit underpowered. Quest 2 gave us enough power to have really good standalone experiences and then start to dabble in something that I love, which is mixed reality. So I'm very hopeful that Quest 3 becomes the mixed reality headset. In other words, the headset that you can, like, maybe it works outdoors. 
I don't know. I'd love if it worked outdoors. Um, maybe it works outdoors. Uh, maybe the color pass through is good enough because the current black and white pass through is not great. And I want reasons to go back to games, great games like T for God and Spatial Ops. And I'd love to put together a local club with a couple of headsets and do like Spatial Ops or Space Pirate Arena. But we just need, uh, honestly, the platform owner here, we need Meta to make the Guardian system less of a feckin' pain in the ass is the number one thing, would be my 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 biggest ask. And then the other thing is, well, I mean, Quest 2 is comfortable enough with the Elite Strap. This strap has broken on me about six times. I've had to repair it, repair it, repair it. Uh, sent it in for full replacement once, uh, which was done. Meta uh, funded it or whatever. Uh, again, it was like a three-week process, so a little bit of a pain in the ass, but nothing nothing terrible. And um, I just want I, I really want to get into that 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 room scale and or mixed reality stuff. I think the development that that happens there that's going to be really cool. And let's not forget about VR either. Like so, I'm not, I, I'm frankly not expecting much. And this is why I wanted to can my feedback now um, before you know something gets exposed to me um, or you know I can't speak freely uh, before any kind of you know news comes into my head then i wanted to talk about the quest 3 uh kind of adamantly in that i'm not i'm not so sure where it fits i think it's going to be an mr device for me i think it's going to be an mr device my room scale device and my pc vr replacement gaming device which will uh, render my quest 2 hopefully replaced uh, my one concern though is the controller scheme because these controllers have actual rings that uh, aren't occluded by your hands and when we come when we take the ring away on the on the new touch controllers i hope it's good enough that the tracking does feel smooth enough accurate enough because as i said i'm not a base station guy but i do the the insides of me wants base station tracking f finesse and fidelity but i don't think we have it so those are just some thoughts i'm going out to be on the periphery of of meta connect um i don't at the moment intend to and certainly don't have an invite for the main event which i'm okay with and i booked my trip knowing that that probably wouldn't pan out um, but i am going to be there for a number of probably about five different like parties pre and post show uh, which is going to be really cool and from what i can tell uh most people who care about connect who've been there like I have, I was at Connect three times in person. Um, they love it. They love the ring around the rosy, ring around the kind of dryish corporate event, the Zuckerberg presentation. Uh, so I'll be sitting in an Airbnb watching that and kind of, you know, grinning away at whatever the presentation, uh, whatever unfolds. I'm still interested. I'm still um, a Meta shareholder. Um, you know, and most recently I, I, I partnered up with Meta because I was like, all right, let's go. And they reached out and I was like, okay. So now I'm in a, a very interesting predicament, uh, maybe a situation, uh, which is that I'm, I'm curious where we go next. I can tell you one side of me, and I said I promised this wouldn't be about No Man's Sky, but I'm worried that tomorrow's stream that I put together will be my last stream for a while playing no man's sky on psvr 2 um i don't intend this is another failure of the system i don't intend on carrying my um my quest with me i might take my oculus go with me actually because i still love that headset it's a good little traveler you plug it into something you watch movies on it no one can see it it's comfortable it's small it's in luggage no problem um it's just easy to travel with and you can load a video or two on it if you want you could load a bunch of them on if you want it i probably just don't have time to do that um and i might try that out i might just bring no headsets i probably won't bring my camera either um i, I mean again the content creator side of me goes like you should bring your camera because you take great pictures uh zim but i'm like i want to go for the people and what there's a lesson i learned years ago um and it's how i met my wife uh, was like, don't bring your camera. I I used to be big into photography and I'd bring uh, my camera and I'd take 400 shots. We'd go on a mountaineering trip or whatever. 
and I'd be absorbed in the framing and the 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 nature of picking up a, a beautiful photograph. Um, and I was still talking to people. It's just slightly different. You're kind of distracted. Your your focus is on something else. And then that same year, I, I, I sat down with my pack and I was like, what am I going to take? I'm going to limit myself to one device and I'm just going to bring one device. And I didn't know that that device would change my life. And so I had three things in front of me. And some of you have heard this story before. I had my camera. I had an iPod. <laughs> I was I'm big into music. I've always been big into music. Okay? Um, and then I had a Nintendo DS. And I said, you know what? I'm going to be true to myself. I'm a gamer. I'm big into games. I'm going to bring the Nintendo DS. And lo and behold, that's how I met my wife on a bus. On a bus trip off to uh, the west side of Ireland when we were going for, for that. And uh, she had a Nintendo DS on the bus, and so did I. And wireless networking. And that was basically how I met my wife. We were, like, playing with each other on this, like, three-hour bus ride. Didn't know who she was. I was getting butterflies. I was also getting feckin' motion sickness from the bus. And it was great. So I'm hoping to apply the same principle to outside of Connect, the boundaries outside of Connect, and hopefully find myself another wife. No, 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 I'm just kidding. That's not it. But uh, that was that was certainly that certainly made a change to my life. So I'm hoping that through the people I can meet, the people who I already know, and the people who I'm about to meet, I can establish some uh, relationships that maybe I haven't had yet. Uh, so if you've been in this VR ride for a little while or a long while, I suppose it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you're around Connect, again, this is just my little message to kind of shout out and say, hey, uh, we're looking forward to meeting people. There's a whole bunch of parties going down. I've got my usual big spreadsheet schedule of all the things I'm going to hit. And if anyone hits me up and is like, hey, Zim, I'm interested. Let's let's meet up. I will honestly try to meet you. That's, that, that's, that's just the way it is. Because um, I'm interested in meeting people who uh, look at me and kind of go, oh, I wonder if he's insane. <laughs> uh, but there's more to this story. And um, yeah, humans are pretty rad. They really are. Uh, so I'm looking forward to meeting a couple. And now we get to see what the reactions are after we get to play with a Quest 3, perhaps in California. Um, any other devices that maybe dev friends would um, let me see or play with. And I'll be zip lipped and all that if i have to for months or years if necessary it's happened before and aside from that then um you know i just want to take as many of you as i can along with the ride and i will update you uh through the streams that we have when we're back uh through any new hardware that we come in contact with and from here all the way till christmas um that stream <laughs> that stream of streams uh, should keep happening I am open to do a little bit more video work, though. Um, things like this, maybe. A little bit more spoken word. Stuff with some more interesting visuals than just me sitting in the chair in this, you know, well-known environment. Uh, but I thought I'd put my piece together and just give you my thoughts at 1.20 in the morning here in Canada. So with that, I am a little crazy. My name's Zim. A VR enthusiast. I think I always will be. I'm kind of... Uh, Stuck into this. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Or maybe in California. <laughs>